Okay, so you've finished all your edits and it's time to share your photo. You're gonna come up to the export button up at the top. And instead of clicking on export to camera roll or export to files, you're gonna click on export as. And here is where you are able to add your watermark. So click on include watermark in order to turn it on and then click on customize. So it should automatically pop up with text and it will probably grab whatever it sees in your metadata as whoever owns this photo. So you can click in that box and change it to just, you know, copyright whatever your name is or your business name and then click done. And you can change the text of the font and all of these other things. And you can add a little drop shadow if you want. And then you can change the horizontal or the vertical offset. Okay, but if you have a logo that you have either purchased or created in Photoshop or a graphics program, click on graphic. And if it's not already in your Lightroom system, you need to add it. So you're gonna click on the add button. So it's gonna bring up your file system. So you can just uh, look through here all the way back to browse and what it's looking for are your locations. So you have to keep that PNG file somewhere in iCloud Drive if you're on an Apple device on my iPhone. So you can move it onto your whatever photo storage app is on your phone. So it's physically on your phone. I have mine both on my phone and iCloud Drive. So it's easily accessible in both areas. You can put it in Google Drive or Dropbox, just somewhere where you can access it via the cloud or on your device. You just have to have access to that file. Now, once it's in here, it's in here for good. All right, so you can change the size of it. So I can size this down. Let's make it a little brighter so we can see what we're doing and you can move it back and forth and up and down. So if you change, if you make the size pretty big, it's it's not gonna go uh, down in the corner any further than, than this. I can't get it to go any further down. So if, if you want it more in the corner, you're gonna have to size it down, okay? And then you click the checkbox and then you're able to save it. So you can save it to your device or you can share it, uh, save it to your files, whatever. And then I'm done. Now I'm ready to share it with the world. Very simple, I hope that helps, and now you can have your logo on all of your mobile images.